Well, let's take a look at your Caribbean report for tonight. Haiti is under the throes of Tomas, and officials in St. Vincent say life is returning to normal following the damage caused by Hurricane Tomas earlier this week. The agriculture was hit worse, suffering losses estimated at $24 million U.S. The acting head of the National Emergency Management Organization, Michelle Forbes, told reporters that the old roads were again passable. Electricity and water supplies almost all restored. More than 600 people are still in shelters awaiting repairs to some 1,200 homes that were damaged. And in St. Kitts and Nevis, the High Court has thrown out the petition resulting in January's general election. Lindsey Grant, the leader of the opposition People's Action Movement, has asked the court to void the election of her opponent, Glenn Phillips, of the governing Labor Party. Mr. Grant had alleged that irregularities on the polling day affected the result, but Justice Idra Harris Prashad Charles struck out the petition, saying that there was no precise evidence under current laws to rule out otherwise. A lawyer for Mr. Phillips, Henry Brown, said his client felt vindicated. The judge also said that her ruling was bound by last month's appealing court ruling in the election petition case in Antigua and Barbuda. And finally, the world's oldest person dies. The woman listed as the world's oldest person has died in the French Caribbean territory of St. Bart's. Eugene Blanchard, a nun, was 114 years old. An official said she died early Thursday at a local hospital where she lived in the geriatric ward since 1980. A relative told the Associated Press that while Mrs. Blanchard could no longer talk, she seemed to be in relatively good health. She was born in St. Bart's in 1896, but lived much of her life at a convent in Curaçao. She was recognized as the world's oldest person by the Guinness Book of World Records. And that's your Caribbean report for tonight. And some education complex students were exposed to professional career choices at the Juan Louis Hospital earlier today. Here's Wes with more. Thanks a lot, Jerome. We are at Juan Louis Hospital. I'm here with uh, Miss Barnaby and also Dr. Jackson. And this is a program together with the St. Croix Educational Complex, and it's about career uh, moves. So let's start off with Miss Barnaby. Thank you, Miss Barnaby. It's good to talk to you. And tell us what this program is all about. Well, um, thank you, Mr. Bess, and I welcome you to Governor Nawan Louis Hospital. And it's always a pleasure to welcome students. And of course, I always say that I am for the youths. Anything that I advocate, wherever is for the youths. And we're here to introduce them to some of our staff and show them what we have available in career paths. So they will come and visit us actually during the year and also decide what type of careers they want to do for the future. And it's a pleasure to introduce Dr. Jackson who called me and she wanted to bring some of her students to show them you know, what ideas they can be involved in and get some notes from us and be involved with our staff. So I'm gonna let Ms. Dr. Jackson tell you a little bit about what she does with her students. All right, and then we'll hear from some of the students then. All right, Dr. Jackson, thank you very much. Please Hi. explain to us what this program is about. This is a life skills class at the Educational Complex High School. And it's actually career exploration for ninth grade students. We're exploring careers in the health services occupation and the hospitality occupation. Because after we leave here, we're going to Carambola Beach Resort, where they're learning about the hotel industry and about hospitality and the different careers in hospitality. These students in the next year or two would be required to, ch to choose a career vocation. They'll be choosing a career track at the Career Technical School to get a certification. In that process, they need to decide what careers they're really interested in. In addition to that, um, their last year of their career program, career training program, they would need to do work study. And these are sites that they can choose to do their work study yes. at. Yes. I see you eyeing the microphone. You know, you are, what's your name? Tamika Thomas. Tamika Thomas. What about you? I asked you the same question. Have you uh, decided what path you might want to take? Yeah, nursing assistant. Nursing assistant? Yeah. You like helping out sick people? You can say so, something, so yeah. yeah. You're a very pretty young lady. I think you'd do good with customer service. Oh, thank you, thank you. All right. Okay, anything else? What about, uh, let's get some other um, people up here. 
Young man, here we go. You uh, you ever heard about Cash for Gold? Yeah. All right. No fear here. What's your name? Kali George. All right, Mr. George, what do you um, think about this program so far? It's, it's a good program. We get to learn the different things, them, the different careers, like rheumatology and stuff. We get to see different things, them, and um, enjoy. And uh, it gives us a big thinking for what we're going to do in the future, what we like to be in the future. So all right. it's all right. All right. Well, good for you. Congratulations to all of you. No matter what path you choose, I'm sure you'll be in the right direction. Now, let me say this. You know, Juan Louis Hospital, I have to tell you, is really good when it comes to customer service. I've been a patient here many a time, and I've always been treated with the um, utmost hospitality, and not just because I'm a reporter either. I've seen them do it equally, and this is a good place for them to get customer service. But we're at Juan Louis Hospital. Congratulations to the staff and faculty at Juan Louis and all of you. Give yourselves a round of applause, will you? All right, quiet down. It is a hospital zone. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. And good luck to all of those students. Thanks, Wes, for that report. And when we come back from this break, BOGO brings you your entertainment report. Stay with us. And let's take a look at what BOGO's got cooked up in your entertainment report for this week. Thank you very much, Jerome. Good evening to everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of the Entertainment Report. And of course, you know, we're going to start off with a Friday night. You know, every Friday night, the place to be is at H2O. And I'm the Madras Terrace. We got DJ Fuzzy and we got Madman Mitch. Dave Mai is on a little vacation. So, you know, those guys are going to hold it down. Just go on out, buy some drinks. It's a free event. Then we're going to tell you about on this Saturday, definitely at the Malibu Fun Spot. It's all about Mr. Vegas. He'll be there performing live with the lights of the Madras Terrace and the camp. That's Poppy Pops and Chubby, so check it out there at Malibu Fun Spot. Then on Sunday night, you know there's a Sunday night line that takes place at 2 Plus 2 Nightclub, DJ Carl, Selector Kof, you're going to have also Big Cat sounds, you're going to have Super Track sounds, and a guest DJ, so you definitely got to go and check them out. And also, over at Galloway's, they have the Street 95 vibe, so you got to go and check it out, of their edition of the Sunday Night Lime, so you're going to go and check that out, of course, you're going to have the lights of Fire Emblem sounds, you're going to have Stun Squad, you're going to have Unleaded sounds, and much, much more, so please go on out and support these events. And then we going to tell you about something that it's coming here on the 20th that's right that's the 20th of November it takes place at the drive-in it's all about twin stars promotion presenting to you at old school jam and it's of course the return of the 17 plus reunion live and direct you also have DJ Johnny will be there double impact sounds terror C and also I guess a DJ tickets are just $25 that's early bird tickets so please go and support this event and then we're going to tell you about the girls lime out that's of course we're going to start with not well you see there's so much things happening for the ladies for thanksgiving first we want to tell you about the one taking place on on the 25th that's thursday the 25th at malibu fun spot and this is called girls power featuring the likes of destra from trinidad we're gonna have tz out of antigua we're gonna have from tartola jalena and harella and they'll be backed by umb and of course, we're going to have Pat Raggy and Chantel Harrigan back by Daddy Jones. So you definitely got to go and check this out. Tickets are just $25. They are at Garmin City and Jackie's Beauty Supply and Platinum Menswear. That's Girls Power. And then Friday, November the 26th at the new drive-in, it's Girls Night Out featuring from Trinidad, Patrice Roberts. And of course, we're going to have from St. Thomas, it's Rudy releasing the pressure and then we're going to have from St. Croix it's Pat Raggy so definitely you want to go and check these events strictly for the ladies that's why ladies are going to be on the stage so go and check it out and then we want to tell you about something good happening with our VI artists for the first time on America it's a Virgin Islands reggae tour featuring the lights of General Ras Attitude, Junior P, Jam Malady and Junior Lion Ninja P Sounds. They'll be backed by the Ireland Band. And some of the states that they are hitting up, of course, we're going to have Philadelphia, North and South Carolina, D.C., Maryland, and Tampa, Florida. And this tour takes place from December 4th to December 23rd. So we just want to say, 
Um, the best of wishes to all VA artists as they go out there and represent the Virgin Islands. I want to thank you for joining me on the Entertainment Report. Whatever you do, try to do it peacefully. If you drink, just don't drive. Back to you, Jerry.